an ex has written an album about me, actually, um, and uh, some of it's really nice and some of it isn't. Please talk about Multiply. Give us the hard sell. Hard, hard sell of Multiply. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's green. It's got some songs on it. Um, do you like green? I do like green, yeah. I do like green. The colour green, not the drug. Just to clarify. <laughs> um, hard sell. It's the best songs I've ever done, best production that's uh, I've ever had on my work, and um, it's a, a g good representation of where I am at right now mm. and the last three years of my life, and I really like it. Mm. And I think most people who like the first will like it, and some people who didn't like the first will like it. Do you have a favourite track on the album? My favourite track is a song called Thinking Out Loud. Which is the one which, that you played. Yeah, you guys wrote about that. You did? Yeah. I said it made you all gooey like a marshmallow. <laughs> no, I like that you're quoting it back to us. Yeah. No. I read Sugar, Sugar, like genuinely Sugarscape is the only blog that I read every single day. And that's because you guys are nice about everyone, even if they're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> We're not always nice. You are. We are. You, are. Maybe, yeah. you even we stick up like with dicks when they're being dicks. We tr yeah. There's like, there'll be a Let story. make up their own opinion. There'll be a story that's like, you'll read it and you'll be like, wow, that person's an asshole. And then you'll be like, we don't believe them. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that, actually. <laughs> no, I think it's good. It's good. You're nice about everything. Yeah, we want to be nice. Good. Tell us something about the album that nobody else knows, or about one of the tracks. Uh, well, Pharrell produced two songs on the album. Mm -hmm. Not everyone knows that. Um, Which is the second one? The second one's a song called Runaway. Um, so there's that. Uh, I'm a Mess was written in my shower, which okay. wasn't working at the time. I have, like, this shower that... I basically got a house for renovation and the shower didn't really work and it's a massive room but it's just very echoey so I wrote the song in the shower. Um, I wrote Thinking Out Loud in my kitchen. Um, yeah. A Fire Love is the one with the Buffy the Vampire Slayer sound block. What? Mm. That sounds incredible. Episode 19, season 2, Jenny Callender's funeral, the piano part in that. Got that, chopped it up, put it in an NPC, replayed it in a different sequence, put it on the song, made the tune. Um, Don't is uh, takes a little bit of uh, inspiration from a um, Lucy Pearl song called Don't Mess With My Man. Um, so we uh, managed to get in touch with um, all of Lucy Pearl, it's like a collective, and they all cleared that, which is cool. Um, so those are the only two things. Oh, and on the song Nina, I sample a uh, Wretch 3-2 song from his mixtape uh, Retrospective, which is like an underground mixtape that he gave me when I was 17 and um, not many people have heard it and it's a very abstract song and I cut out a piano part and that's the main riff sample in the song. Mm. I feel like that's lots of secrets. secrets. Yeah. Obviously speaking of Dope is about an ex-girlfriend. Or, you, uh, or boyfriend. You, or boyfriend, sorry, or boyfriend. Let's be equal here. Um, have you, were you concerned or have you ever been concerned that someone would do a response track to that? Uh, about Frankie and Eamon? I kind of, I kind of think that would be, that, that would be mu musically fun. You know, it's always good to have something to drive you. Um, but no, I don't think that's going to happen. Just because I don't know what the response is to that. Because mm. the person either owns up and says yes, it was me, or they just keep quiet. Yeah. So, yeah. How would you feel if an ex actually wrote a song about you? Would you quite like it? An ex has written a song. An ex has written an album about me actually, um, and uh, some of it's really nice and some of it isn't. But I guess I do the same thing. So. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it's one of these things, I guess. We love the sing video. Um, serious question. Who is Wilder on a night out? Pharrell or your puppet alter ego? Well, Pharrell doesn't drink, so definitely the puppet. Oh, yeah, okay. Pharrell's, Pharrell's a very zen, uh, kind of eats very healthy stuff. Like, yeah, he's 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 into... I, I don't really know how to describe it. He's just, he, he's not one to pollute his body. Whereas my puppet, in the uncut okay. version of the video, pollutes his body in many different ways. But we're not going to put the uncut one. Oh really? Yeah. Well, just just because it's a bit too raunchy. I didn't have anything to do with the puppet scenes in the strip club, and um, Emil, the director, did. Okay. So he just got the puppet to do. Were you not there when they were like being done? No. Uh, no. 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 Uh, I was there with Pharrell and the Koreans. <laughs>